Hi everyone. Um, got it in bio. I didn't post anything, and I was just um, actually I was just uh, making a conference magakote, and they were talking about like you know we should have this uh, crime data data criminal database where when somebody is like cheating on you, somebody is frauding you, somebody is scamming you, if we can make those kinds of thing online using the same platform that they use us to look into their bullshit so uh, today's videos is like i'm gonna talk about uh, akash my ex go stay in nepal and this is one of the story i usually tell to my friends and they will just look at me like Gunzani, are you stupid like you got married to someone like that first things like the way like i always say the way he says the story is always exciting okay and he skips the part where things goes wrong so it's really i knew part of it but i didn't really knew everything but now i know everything so i'm gonna tell you what actually happened and how long he stayed in nepal so 2011 ma uh, he was able to scam one of the women that i am in contact with and he, she was divorced she has a lot of money and on her misfortune that she met him okay so that moment he used her to tell her that she can come to nepal and then they will have a hostel they will have a restaurant running in which is the most one and only which is like dos pandra borsa boys okay this is the story he usually tell to everybody but um, anyways so uh, he came to Nepal in 2011 with her money and they did open our hostel sparkle turtles in uh, in uh, Swambo and he claims that it was the most successful uh, blah 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 and he, he, he's the he's the history maker of backpacker hostel and all that I don't really know whatever he says is true or not so I cannot really say so 2011 he came and he, it didn't really work out and he, not only that he, they have like a lot of both of them have a lot of problems during uh, stay in Nepal and in such a situations like they were actually working uh, in a pizza pizza place for free uh, in return to get a visa to stay in Nepal so 2011 he came 2013 his passport old passport was expired and 2015 when april ma was about earthquake bugs and emergency passport i lost my passport but emergency visa like emergency he went back to canada so this guy you can do the math you cannot make more than six month visa to live in Kathmandu and whatever business they were doing and all that it wasn't working at the end of the day he was actually in underground uh, living in this what is that place called I don't know Dalchini Banone Taplejung he was underground in Taplejung because he has some problems in Kathmandu so he was there so 2013 uh, visa exp and he usually says his visa expired nobody care everybody is stupid i'm the only one who is the victim and all that shit that literally one of 2013 2015 summer months ago passport expired it practically means he was not in a situation to make it right. So 2013, they keep, I don't know how long he stayed in Nepal illegally and he went to Canada, got himself a new visa and he, he was in London and uh, with another woman go money, the, he made this, oh, we're going to open a restaurant in London and all that. And the moment he get money from another woman in Canada, he shifted to London. And I know that when he's about to finish money in London, he fly back to Kathmandu in 2017. And at the end of 2017, around December, he only have like a couple more months for six month co visa he came back to nepal he came back to nepal with an intention to get married to a nepali woman so that his visa issues would be solved and there was another woman and now then i came in the in the in the picture and it just worked but everything he said he did or not did 
everything about him is nothing but a lies so anyone who come across to this man you can contact me to know more about him and if you don't want to contact me at least be careful okay he's not what he says he is thanks